Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about these micro phone chargers, I guess you could say. I've got three different varieties. I've got this big massive one which is from uh, Good Ah, and it is, um, it is 45,800 milliamps of, of capacity in this thing. It also has a small solar panel. It also has like a crank, so there's multiple ways of charging it. And it actually has the cords built right in. You know, this thing is actually pretty nice and it has a couple of lights. You know, so it's full featured, but like, is it really, uh, you know, 45,800 800 milliamps? I mean, that is at 3.7 volts. So what that equates to is that it says it's 169 watt hours is what it is. And so, um, we're going to be testing all these. Um, I'm first going to plug this one in. I'm going to see what the true uh, capacity is. Because I, for some reason, I just don't think that any of these are what they say they are. Or really even close. So I kind of want to find that out. In full disclosure, they are not brand new. This Belkin over here, it's a 20,000 milliamp. And it is probably four years old. So I would say battery degradation is going to have a big part to do with this one. But this good ah, and then this also, this 15, this 15,000 milliamp right here. Um, this, these are only, uh, these are only about a year old. So, uh, they should have minimal battery get degradation. So, you know, let's just say this is 169 watt hours. Let's just say we take 10% off of that. So let's go ahead and put it on my tester. And then let's find out the capacity for real. All right, the battery tester I'm going to be using is just this, this one. I mean, you can get these from Amazon. You can get a dime a dozen. I mean, I'll have a link to this in my description if you want to look further into it. So let's go ahead and plug it in. Okay, I've got the battery plugged in. It shows 5.12 volts. And we're going to just run a 2 amp test. So let's go ahead and just start. Let's go and reset it and set it for two amps because these things max out at like three amps so i don't want to max it out and man it really drops that voltage down when you do this wow it looks like i can only do 1.5 amps so let's do a one amp test all right there we go it's uh 2.33 volts now running at running at one amp hmm you know what, and this cable is actually warm. <laughs> it's crazy. So let me go ahead and swap out the cable and try this again. There we go. Much, much thicker cable now. We won't have any problems. And now it's 4.97 volts at 1.05 amps. So we're gonna test this and I'll let you know what the results are when we get back. Capacity test is done for this good ob, this big fat 40, 5,000 plus milliamp hour power station. I guess it'd be called a power bank. And you can see right there, it says that it is a hundred, <coughs> it is rated for 169 watt hours. Uh, look at the test results. It says 58.95 watt hours. 50, so that's 59 watt hours. Now that's only 35% of its rated capacity. And like I said, I've only had this thing a year. And I know that if you use your item a lot, the degradation will go faster. I've used this probably 10 times. I mean, it should be rated for 500 times before we get down to like 80%. I don't believe this thing ever had 169 watt hours of capacity. I don't even know if it had 100. So uh, that's kind of scary. But let's go ahead and do the next one. All right, the next one I'm gonna be doing is this off-brand 15,000 milliamp hour battery bank. Uh, you know what, I got this on Amazon. I think I got two of them for $25. So let's check, we're gonna check the capacity of this and I'll let you know what it is. All right, the test has started for this off-brand uh, battery bank. Uh, we're running at 4.89 volts and it's pulling 1.05 amps. All right, well, the uh, capacity test for this uh, generic battery bank is finished, and it's a 55.5 watt hour capacity bank. And the test shows 
26.67 watt hours. So uh, if you calculate that out, that's about 48% capacity. And uh, again, this is only, I mean, this is only a year old. I've probably used it about 10 times. So there shouldn't be much battery degradation. Okay, we got one more to go. We're gonna do the Belkin and we'll find out what that one is. And remember, that one is about four years old at least. So we'll see what the difference is. Okay, the test has begun and it was showing 4.89 volts at 1.03 amps. And this is a 20,000 milliamp uh, battery bank right here. All right, well, the capacity test is done for this four-year-old Belkin battery bank that I have. And check this out. I hope you can see that, but it says 60.3 watt hours. Now this is a 20, 20,000 milliamp bank. So that means it's 74 watt hours. So if you divide that out, it's actually, that still has 81% of its capacity. Now it's crazy how this battery bank down here uh, actually has pretty much the highest capacity out of all, out of the three that I tested. Now that really goes to show that if you're gonna buy a battery bank, make sure you get a name brand. Don't get just a generic $15 one from Amazon or even one that looks fancy that has lights and chargers and cranks and, and solar panels. You know, if you really just need capacity, uh, get something that you know uh, will deliver. Uh, this Belkin, like I said, it's been four years. I mean, I've used it probably over a hundred times and it still has the capacity, you know, 80% capacity, which beats the other two by far. So uh, I hope this kind of gives you a little bit of insight into these power banks. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day. Bye-bye.